For the best prices and service on Pokemon TCG singles and products, check out ccgcastle.com and use promo code EVOLUTIONARIES-5 for 5% off your next order. What's up guys? N here, and for this Deck Tech Thursday, I'm going to be profiling for you guys the Gallade Octillery deck. Now, it's not a deck that's high meta or anything, but it is a deck that is gaining popularity once again because of a couple cards that we've gotten in recent sets. It's very, very good, very budget friendly, at least compared to the other decks out there. And all in all, it's pretty good. Yeah, you gotta use your brain a little bit with though because there's a lot of advanced planning strategy involved, but once you get that down, there's almost nothing you can't beat with this. So, without delay, gonna get right into it. First, let's start with our Pokemon here. We got four copies of Ralts, two copies of Curlia, and of course, the attacker of the deck, four copies of Gallade, or Gallade, whichever one you prefer, doesn't really matter. Yeah, so, um, as you can see here, I'm using the Agent Oranges one, but the Breakthrough Ralts is exactly the same, just a different art, so it doesn't really matter. Same with the same thing with the Curlia. I just chose Fairy, but you can use the Psychic, that's fine too. But let's look at the, at the Gallade itself and why it's so good right now. First of all, 150 HP for a stage shoe is not bad. It has an attack sensitive blade for a double colorless, the 60, and if you play a supporter card during that same turn, you do 70 more damage. So 130 for a double colorless, pretty good. And of course, we have stuff like Choice Band, Kukui to boost up the damage even more. And it's also got a really useful ability called Premonition. Once during your turn, before you attack, obviously, you look at the top five cards in your deck and you put them back in any order you wish. Which that's very, very good for a certain Pokemon that helped you draw, which I'm gonna get into right now. So here we have two copies of Remoraid, along with two copies of Octillery. Now, again, these cards are nothing new. We've seen this deck before. And for those of you who don't remember, Abyssal Hand is Octo's ability that lets you draw up into five cards into your hand. So if you have less than five cards and you have a Gallade and an Octillery, you can use Premonition, the ability, to arrange the cards that you want to draw with Octillery, then play the Octillery ability to draw them. So that right there, pretty good combo, so you're always drawing what you need. But there's ways that we're going to take that even further. But first, going to finish up the Pokemon here. We have two copies of the Promo Tapu Koko, just as an alternate attacker and a good Pokemon to start with. And two copies of Tapu Lele, our main searcher of the deck because this searches supporters, and everything around this deck is around supporters. Plus, its attack is double cause as well, so even though Gallades is the one you want to be attacking with, you can attack with every Pokemon in the deck except for, obviously, Octillery. But everything else here can be a decent attacker. Coco, Lele, all of them. All right. And with that done, that does it for our Pokemon. Now let's get into our supporter counts. We've after the standard ones, we're gonna see some pretty interesting supporters here. So obviously we have the three copies of Professor Sycamore and two copies of N. Only three Sycamore just to make room for the more crazy supporters that are gonna help us. Plus we have a way to search it now. Now, the supporter that is making this deck rise up like crazy again, and you would never have guessed it if you've never heard of this deck. That's right, three copy of Malo. Now let's put the pretty full art up front. But yeah, Malo is insanely good in this deck. Because you play your Malo, you put two cards that you want on top of your deck. That's your supporter for turn for Gallade to do the bonus damage. And if you have less than five cards in your hand, which you should, boom, you play Artillery. So Gallade boosts the damage with the supporter played and Artillery, you could draw those two cards you searched. So pretty much, even though Mala says you look for two cards and put them on top of your deck, it's basically a teammate that you don't have to wait to get knocked out for, which it's amazing. So, so amazing. You're literally picking the cards that you want to draw out of your entire deck, not just even a top five. So insane card in this deck. It's actually the biggest reason why this deck is coming back again. And it's strange too, no one really predicted Mala would see much play, but in this deck, man, like, I've almost thought about running four Malo in here. That's how big Malo is in this deck. All right. And another of our standard support here, we have two copies of Lysander. Again, standard just to bring up what we want to knock out. And for our one of supporters, 
We have a Kukui. Got a Skyla. A Teammates. Hex Maniac. And last but not least, a Bridget. Now, stage two decks are slowly making a comeback, and they all need Bridget to start off with. Hex Maniac is a shut off abilities. Teammates. I have it in here because it's a supporter use for turn, and even though Malo pretty much does the same thing without having to be knocked out, it doesn't hurt to have more ways to search for cards that you want. Skyla is just to search off any trainer you might need, like a Choice Band, Floatstone, something like that. And Kukui is to help boost our damage with Glade even further to help us hit for those 180 knockouts. And that does it for our supporter lineup. A little bit crazier than usual. And for supporters, if you don't agree with my exact list you could have your own supporters in here as well the only one i would absolutely say you need is malo at least three malo no less than other than that everything else outside like your typical supporters you could change them around a little bit like you can have delinquent in here you could have lily what's another pretty crazy one you could have olympia just any supporters you want that you feel will help outside of the standard ones you need and the malo all right now it's time to get into our items so, of course, we have our four copies of Ultra Ball. Because this is stage two, we need as many ways to get our Pokemon as possible. Along with the four copies of Via Seeker. Even more points since this deck is such so supporter reliance. And four copies of Rare Candy. Because this, again, this is a stage two deck. We want to get our Glade out ASA now. So, Rare Candy helps out with that. Next up, we have... Four copies of Choice Band. Pretty much one of the most amazing cards that came out in Guardians Rising. So, quick little, quick little show here. Let's say you have a Choice Band on your Glade, right? And you play Kukui. This right here, against an EX or GX, so initially it's 130, 150 with the Kukui, plus 30, 160, 170, 180. The magical 180 hit for a single double colorless energy. Crazy. Just crazy. And if it's even if it's not an EX or GX, 150 you're knocking out all non-EX or GX Pokemon. So either way, they're going down. I'm going down, man. This delay is no joke. Alright, so that does it for Lowe's there. And for our next tool, it's gonna be two copies of Floatstone. Just to attach to our Octillaries mainly, but we can attach it to our Gallade if we need Furry Treats. And it's not an EX or GX related deck that you're going up against. Also, two copies of Field Blower. Now, the reason I have two in here is because, as you guys can imagine, Garbodor kills this deck. But not the Garb you're thinking. Trash Lance, yeah, it's bad, but you can easily one-shot them as they one-shot you. No, the real problem is Garbotoxin. Because you rely on Premonition, Premonition, um, Wonder Tag, I forgot the name of Lily's ability, oh, wow, and also Abyssal Hand. Those are the Sutras of your deck, and if they're shut down, you're, you're done. Like, it's so brutal. So, two copies of Field Blower is an absolute must to help deal with those. Other than that, this deck doesn't really auto-lose to anything. Just because you can naturally be prepared for almost anything with the way this deck's built. All right, and for our last items here, we have two copies of Special Charge and one copy of Rescue Stretcher. Rescue Stretcher, obviously, to get Pokemon back and this to shuffle our Double Colorless, which, speaking of which, that's it. This is all the energy of the deck, so it's similar to Vespaquin or, for those of you from the old days, Sazmatoad. You only run the four Double Colorless in the deck. That's it. That's all you really need. So, there you guys go. This has been my take on the Gallade Octillery deck. Like I said, especially for the supporters, you could be a little more lenient and flexible. And if in case you're more local, just put supporters that will help you with your local matchups. But anything for bigger, I would say make tailor your supporters to what you think is going to be the biggest thing out there. Like I said, the link was good. Um, Ace Trainer, not a bad option. Olympia, Pokemon Center Lady if you wanted. Like, there's a lot of underrated supporters out there that work perfectly for this particular deck right here because of how badly it needs supporters. And one more thing I'll add 
if you guys wanted to, you could add a third Tapu Lele. I personally think two is enough, but if you don't agree, there's nothing wrong with a third because you always want to have a supportive return. So, that about wraps it up for my deck profile here, and be sure to stick around tomorrow for when I go against Professor K's deck, his Tapu Bulu, and the Gavolt deck, which that will be a very interesting matchup indeed. So, if you guys enjoyed this little deck profile, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And come back tomorrow. Hopefully, I my losing streak does not continue, but only time can tell. So, this has been End with the Pokemon Evolutionaries, and I'll catch you guys later.